having lived in a van now for well over four years, I think I'm pretty well qualified to give you the 10 rules of living van life. If you're new to van life or thinking about getting into van life, these are must follow. Let's call them 10 commandments. Number one is the most obvious. Leave no trace. Wherever you go, take nothing but memories and some other stuff. Don't leave your litter. Don't leave your old broken deck chairs. Don't leave any shit outside your vans at all because the local people aren't going to be happy with that. Number two kind of ties into number one. Find somewhere proper to empty your toilet. Don't sneakily empty it in a bush at side at road or in a field or in a stream because that would be, pardon the pun, pretty shitty of you to do that. Number three, no motorhomes. Motorhomes are not van life. You can't live van life in a motorhome. It's practically a shed on wheels and I understand that that's a bit rich coming from me that lives in pretty much a shed on wheels but there needs to be a fucking line somewhere and I'm telling you now motorhomes get in the sea you're not welcome rule number four it is a must an absolute must in van life if you want to be taken seriously you must have an Ikea spice rack. If you don't have an Ikea spice rack, you're going to have to try harder. You're not welcome. If I'm honest, that's the top and bottom of it. Get out of van life, stop using the hashtags, and piss right off. Fake plants save lives. If you're in your van constantly, you need them fake plants to make you feel a little bit better about the fucking shit that you live in. You need a bit of colour, you need to feel at least that you're able to keep something alive even if you're dying yourself. It is essential in van life to have a stash of ramen and dry pasta. If you do not have noodles and you do not have pasta, you're gonna die. So make sure you've got at least five packets of each at any time if you use one buy another one to replace it for your stash it's good to have that in a locked uh, safe as well so that if anybody breaks in they're not going to try and steal your noodles because they are basically all we eat and that's it if you haven't got a youtube channel don't bother because what's the point how are we all supposed to know that you're living van life if we can't see it on youtube you're not doing it. You're obviously a faker. Obviously just doing it f for for some bullshit reason. If you haven't got a YouTube channel, there's no point in living van life. There's no point in living in squalor if you're not able to glamorise it and, and other people see it. Because otherwise, it's just you on your own in your van being bloody depressed. So, start, just start a YouTube channel is easy. Every Tom, Dick and Harry can do it. So make a YouTube channel, otherwise just go back to a house, get on council register, get out, you're not welcome in van life. Don't share your park ups. Even if you've got a right good park up, don't share it. That <laughs> That's rule number eight. Don't share your park ups, keep them secret. I'm sick of people sharing my park ups. Oh yeah, I found a good park up. Here's where it is, go park there. You'll not get hassled. Then 10 other campers and then, not just campers, then motorhome crew turn up, get the fucking gazebos out and the deck chairs and the outdoor ovens and the fucking gas barbecues and all that. And before you know it, they've taken over. Keep them quiet. Rule number nine is you must be vegan or at least uh, be trying. And to be fair, if you've not got a YouTube channel, nobody's going to know that you're vegan. So those kind of two go hand in hand. You need to even be a fully fledged vegan and let everybody know that you are vegan or at least be trying to be vegan or pretend, pretend to be vegan actually. Uh, if you use the hashtag vegan and all that kind of stuff, that would be good. It doesn't matter if you're eating sausages, meat sausages in your van, as long as you're saying that you're vegan, that is the must. 
and that's how you're going to get around it. So keep plugging that, keep telling everybody that you're vegan, you'll get on just fine. We all do it. Rule number 10 is don't, don't take any notice of me. Don't take any notice of me, but also don't take notice of other people telling you how or why or where or anything. Just enjoy yourself. Living in a van's hard enough without listening to other people, without other people pulling you down. Please just keep your area tidy, be respectful of your environment, and that's probably the only rules that you should be listening to. Don't listen to people like me. Don't listen to other people out there telling you how you should and shouldn't. Certainly don't go on the van live pages on Facebook because they're toxic. Enjoy yourself. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think that you might like future videos, drop a subscribe down below. Turn your notifications on. Thank you very much. Go to liamtheterrible.com. You'll see all the good stuff over there. And I'll see you soon. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs>